What's up guys, it's Josh from Soul Studios. I'm back with the follow-up of the Black Lion Audio Bluey review. And I mentioned in that video that if there was enough interest, I would do a shootout between the hardware and the Wave CLA 76 plugin. So that's what I'm back here to do today. And a quick note, this was a little bit difficult to calibrate. Uh, for one, there's no threshold. So that always makes it a little bit interesting when calibrating. And if you have the hardware, you know that even with the input knob all the way down, there's a certain amount of signal that still passes through. Now, it's my understanding when people reached out to Blackline Audio asking about that, they basically said they wanted to keep CLA's unit exactly how it was. So even if something is perceived as a mistake or broken, they were leaving it exactly how it was because if you change anything, you run the risk of changing the sound. So having said all that, I calibrated this as I do all my other videos. I had them both using a one kilohertz test tone, compressing about one dB it, with the test tone running through. And then I used the trim on the audio files within Pro Tools to feed more or less of the signal to the compressor. But going to the hardware and coming back and going to the plugin and coming back, they were both calibrated with the attack right up the middle and the release on the fastest setting. And then from there, I just kept the input and output levels the same to retain that calibration and only adjusted attack and release as needed to match the CLA presets moving forward. Now, one thing to note, if you have the hardware, you know that the attack knob is backwards. In other words, all the way to the left on the plugin is the slowest attack, but all the way to the left on the hardware is the fastest attack and vice versa all the way to the right uh, they're reversed as well so just know if you see one of the settings on the hardware that's at say like a five attack that's going to be a three on the plug-in they're going to if one's over here it's going to be the opposite so just know that's intentional uh, that's again one of the things about cla's hardware that they just left it the way it was and i actually appreciate them doing that now, keep in mind as well, even though I've taken every step that I could to ensure these have the same calibration, when something generates a different amount of harmonic distortion, for example, or if the attack is a little bit different, the perceived loudness may change through the example. So if that's going on, just know I'm not trying to pull any trickery here. I'm not trying to convince you to buy hardware or say, hey, you don't need the hardware, just keep the plug in. I'm gonna leave that up to you to decide. But anyway, let's get into the examples. This is from the song Ghost of My Dreams by Patrick Rock, which is the same one I used in the Bluey Hardware review. So let's see how the hardware and the plug-in sound side by side. Don't let go of my hand, don't move a thing. I wanna stay like this forever, what you say. We can laugh and we can kiss Stay in bed for 30 days If that's what you wish And I hope it is And I hope it is Don't let go of my hand, don't move a thing I wanna stay like this forever, what you say We can laugh and we can kiss Stay in bed for 30 days If that's what you wish And I hope it is And I hope it is Yes.
All right, guys, hopefully you found that useful. And I will say that even though I greatly prefer the hardware in certain situations, I still use the plugin quite a bit. I don't think they sound the same. Now you can decide whether one sounds better or the other. I will say this, I can get the hardware to break up beyond what I can get the plugin to do. So when I want to be aggressive on a vocal or a drum room track in particular, I will go for the hardware. Sometimes I find the hardware to be a little bit brighter. And so if there's a vocal that's a tad on the bright side that I'm having trouble with sibilance and so forth, and I'm not quite able to tame that down with EQ or DSing, I may actually use the plugin. So the good news is I find them both very useful. I hope you do as well. With any piece of hardware, I, I don't think you need anything. But if you're like me, you enjoy certain things. And I have found that the Black Lion Audio Bluey does things that I do not get out of plugins. Not to put anything down or to say this or that, but I also don't think it's wise to try to act like you don't need hardware. You don't need anything other than, I guess, a set of speakers, which I guess you could have headphones, so you don't need those either. If you enjoy hardware and you like the way it sounds in this video, and more importantly, if you like the way it sounds in your studio when you're doing your direct comparisons, then, then use it. If somebody else is mixing number one tracks on a laptop, good for them. In other words, if none of this made any difference, I would sell it all and put a swimming pool in the backyard. <laughs> but I feel that it does. So again, not trying to open a can of worms here, not trying to start an argument. I'm simply trying to say, I would hate it for anybody to never try hardware just because of something they read on a forum or just because of a video that they watched. And on the flip side, I would hate it for somebody to be like, I've got to have all of this stuff and put themselves in a really bad financial spot when they may be able to make a pretty good living and do all they need to do completely in the box. So as you can afford it, that's my only advice. Don't let this stuff burden you down. Don't let it get you in debt. It's not worth that. But as you can afford it, I think it's it's sort of a rite of passage and something that everybody should at least give a try. Because just watching videos like this or just reading music forums, I don't think you're ever gonna find out if it's the right fit for you or not. Anyway, I don't want to go on too much of a rant, but again, I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found it useful. And thank you for your time checking out this video. Before you head out, please ring the bell, subscribe, like the video, and let me know, is there any other piece of hardware or plugin that you would like to see me do a review on? All right, thanks guys, take care.